Doctor Neil. Doctor Neil. Hi, Doctor Neil. Doctor Neil. Hi. Hello. Can Dr. you hear me, Arnold? Yes, Dr. Lucas is now on board. Okay. Good afternoon, Attorney Ebot. Hi. Good afternoon, <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Attorney Ebot, it's five. Maybe just let's just give uh, the others two minutes to log in. We'll start at 5.02. 5.02, yeah. let's okay. Yes, no problem, yeah. Okay, thank you. Bought, it's 5.02, let's start. Okay. Good afternoon, fellow MAP um, members and guests. On behalf of the MAP Arts and Culture Committee, I would like to welcome you to this MAP Arts and Culture presentation on the musical genius of the Filipino youth. My name is Abbot Tan. I am one of the moderators for today's presentation. The other moderator is MAP past president, Evelyn Singson. Please settle down comfortably as we will now begin our program. Our committee chair, Mr. Eddie Yap, who is abroad, will be unable to deliver his welcome remarks because of the time difference. Please allow me then to read this on his behalf. Good afternoon, fellow MAP members and guests. On behalf of the MAP um, MAP or MAP Arts and Culture Committee, um, let me welcome you to all, uh, let me welcome all of you to this afternoon's presentation on the musical genius of the Filipino youth. It's a pleasure once again to bring to you today's presentation as part of the continuing series we started last year to provide MAP members and guests a diversion from the depressing COVID-19 pandemic. We hope we are not only providing entertainment, but also information on topics of general interest. Please watch out for more announcements of our upcoming events. I would like to thank Dr. Renato Lucas for sharing his time and expertise with us uh, in today's presentation. Thanks are also in order for the Enverga Candelaria Rondalia, Coro Bicolano, Adaya Cultural Ensemble, Rachel Ann Manipal, and the Sargasang Gianak Ud Malibkong Ethnic Ensemble. And to Evelyn Singson and Abotan for organizing and moderating this event. Thank you, everyone, and enjoy this presentation. Thank you, uh, 
Eddie, our uh, committee chair. Uh, here are some reminders, please, before we proceed with the lecture. As participants at this event, your audio and video are automatically shut off. You may submit your questions through the Q&A box that you see on your screen. With the assistance of our MAP Secretariat, I as moderator will read the questions on your behalf. You will only be able to see the program participants, but you will not be able to view the other attendees. In line with MAP's policy, and in the interest of time, we will dispense with the lengthy introduction of our speaker. His profile will, is being flashed on the screen. Uh, may I now call on our presenter, the president of the National Music Competitions for Young Artists Foundation, or the NAMSIA. Uh, please welcome Dr. Renato B. Lucas. Dr. Lucas? Yes. Good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, first, let me express my gratitude to uh, Attorney Tan and uh, Ms. Singson, who's part of our uh, board, uh, and this opportunity to present uh, about the National Music Competitions for Young Artists. Without further ado, I am going to share screen my PowerPoint. Hope everyone can see this. Yes, we can see it. Yes, uh, good afternoon. So I'm uh, Dr. Lucas. Uh, president of the National Music Competitions for Young Artists, uh, doing the topic for today, the musical genius of the Filipino youth. Yeah. This is my uh, one of our uh, posters, one of my favorite. Uh, it says, Minsan lang kami maging musiko. Yes, because uh, childhood is one of those um, uh, best times of our lives where, where dreams start. And after this, uh, the next slide, I'm going to present two, two performances. The first one is uh, Kian Lloyd Narzabal. He comes from Tayabas, Quezon, uh, playing uh, solo, solo banduria. Oops, what happened? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, it stopped. The video stopped. Hold on for a while. Let me... Yeah. Can I? My apologies. There's no response from the. Uh... Yeah, Dr. Lucas, you need some assistance uh, from our secretariat for sharing. No, I'm the one presenting. Maybe. Uh... Oh, 
apologies for this. We may I re-enter? Yeah, I, I, I suppose you could. Right, may I re-enter? Yeah. Uh, please stand by. There seems to be some technical difficulties. We're trying to fix it. Thank you. Sorry about that. We got disconnected. Joanna? Joanna? Yes, po. Hindi siya, na, wala siya sa ano, let him in, hindi siya nakapasok. He's not on board. Yeah, Arnold, I think Dr. Lucas uh, exited and he wanted to yes, re-end. Uh, oh, he's back, he's back. Hi, Dr. Lucas. Yeah, sorry about that. Let me start all over again. Okay. Yes. So I'm going Dr. to continue where I left Dr. off. Dr. Lucas, we can't see the PowerPoint. You have to stop sharing, then, then restart. Stop, then share screen. Yeah. Can you see it now? No. Joanna, will you be able to uh, no, use your I'm file? I'm sharing it. I'm sharing we, we, it right now. We can, you, are we can, you are screen sharing. I can see it on my screen. Joanna, can you see it? No. Oh. Would you like us to file that we have? Joanna, can you take over? Sir, hindi rin po nagpa-play yung video sa file na muna sa ako. Okay. I'm sharing now. Can you see it? No. Joanna, can you please help?
Ayan na po. Dr. Lucas, that's the screen of... Is that you, Joanna? No po. Okay. Mel. I can Dr. see Dr. Lucas, Mar Maricel will take over. Mar oh, Maricel, okay. okay. Okay, go ahead. slide please the next slide is a young cellist I'm proud to say he was my uh, former student he went to uh, he went to uh, uh, Austria uh, this past two years uh, he's back and due to return to uh, to Europe for further studies kindly continue Damodar Das Castillo.
This is one of the performances at the Cultural Center of the Philippines. And the number performances.
Yes, most of these kids are, uh, a number of them participated in Namsha. A number of them participated in Namsha. And uh, the name of the group is uh, Manila Symphony Junior Orchestra. Um, so uh, we were privileged uh, to have invited them in one of our, our concerts. Yeah. Next slide, please. Dr. Lucas? Yes. Can you please tell us how old uh, Kian and Damoda? Uh, uh, Kian in that video was uh, around nine years old. Mm. Damodar in that video, because that's uh, 2016, was around uh, 12, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Oh. So. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, to uh, to give an overview, the the national music competitions is uh, was formally organized in 1973. Next year, we are going to be uh, 50 years in existence. Yeah. As, as a response, uh, we are, we existed under the uh, executive order uh, 1173 as a response to the imperative. Uh, need to preserve, develop, and promote Philippine music as an art and as a handmaid of cultural development. Yeah. So uh, every year, uh, the last week of November, that, is, that culminates the, the competition. We have three levels of competition. And the last week of November, we present. Uh, it's a, it's a week-long festival of the many competitions. Yeah. Next slide, please. Yeah. So uh, this is one of our uh, posters that we had uh, last year. Uh, our vision is to be the main agent in advance, the advancement and fostering of our diverse musical heritage. Yeah. Diverse, it does not entail only the classical music, as, I will, uh, as one could see later in the succeeding uh, slides. We also uh, do uh, traditional expressions from the indigenous and the folk folk expressions. So what we do is that we identify and nurture outstanding young Filipi Filipino musicians, as, as you saw earlier, through nationwide competitions, publications, festivals, and workshops in readiness for professional musical career. careers. Yeah. Next slide, please. Uh, this is uh, one, of, one of our trusts is discovering out outstanding young Filipino musicians from every region of the country through annual competitions. This is a performance of a, of a group of young musicians in Sambales. Uh, kindly play. Vivaldi, the rendering Vivaldi Spring from the Four Seasons. This is in the uh, Casa San Antonio in, uh, in Zambales. 
Casa San Miguel in San Antonio, the town of San Antonio, Zambales. Like the other uh, group of young musicians, uh, this this uh, group of young musicians, uh, if you could kindly show the next slide, were musicians who are based in Sambales. This that clip is part of the documentary that we produced during the during the pandemic uh, season, uh, featuring Kok Bolipata, who, who 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 is the mentor, who was the mentor. Of most of these uh, young 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 musicians, yeah. so we featured my good friend and contemporary Alfonso Koch Bolipata uh, playing it forward. Uh, uh, this uh, this musicians in Sambales uh, it started about 25 years ago uh, with, with with children of a musician of fishermen, children of a fisherman. It started uh, from from zero teaching the these young musicians. Next slide, please. So uh, another another trust of uh, of Namsha is uh, developing these musicians musicians through workshop and training program. And this poster is one of our training uh, training workshops that we did. Uh, percussions, uh, the uh, the varied instruments in the percussion. Uh, 
considering that we have a wide uh, network of musicians, we are able to invite trainers uh, for young musicians and, and also workshops for uh, teacher, uh, teacher training. Um, a lot of our audience uh, were from the public schools, so some private schools in the primary and secondary education level. Next slide, please. Yeah. So uh, we also uh, the, another trust of Namsha is enhancing and expanding the appreciation uh, for and performance of Filipino music by way of mandated competition repertoire programs and commissioning of new works. Yeah. We have a uh, we have a wide collection of commissioned works by the national artists. In this poster. Uh, the title is uh, a culture-based approach to teaching Philippine music. Yeah. Next slide, please. So in this uh, in this slide, uh, this is uh, our 2019. I think this is the um, this is like the culminating activity where the uh, where the traditional mu traditional music uh, groups. Had their uh, had their curtain calls. Yeah, there are six six indigenous uh, expressions from all over the country selected.
Tato in Dana Nodo, for the man in traditional Assam. These are snippets of, uh, of indigenous traditions uh, ranging uh, where they depict uh, uh, where they depict uh, cultural practices orally passed uh, from, uh, from the elders uh, called culture bearers uh, so these children are, are taught to recreate these uh, traditions of uh, like marriage healing worship uh, from various uh, indigenous groups from the Cordilleras of the North until the Muslim Mindanao and the Lumads of Mindanao. This ritual has something to do with the harvest, uh, bountiful harvest. Dr. Santos was primarily responsible for uh, perpetuating this component of the competition. Uh, they submit videos uh, of, uh, of these uh, cultural practices with an accompanying uh, text what is being done. Uh, but, but what is important here is, is the, uh, what we call the culture bearer. Uh, usually uh, somebody from the indigenous ethno-linguistic group or for lack of a better term lowland christian groups uh, so that these traditions are uh, are are not forgotten preserved and continued yeah? considering the uh, that a lot of the indigenous tradition and a lot of indigenous ethno-linguistic groups are are marginalized yeah so This video, I think, has something to do with courtship and marriage. but more, more of a selection process uh, done by our experts of musicologists.
Yes. Next slide, please. So that was uh, the last uh, live presentations of Namsha before the uh, before the pandemic struck. That was November of uh, 2019. So um, the next slide shows. Uh, the, the, the wide scope of our competitions. Yeah. So for group competitions, we also have uh, the, the choir, uh, children's choir, uh, which is uh, most mostly from on the uh, primary primary age primary school education age level. The uh, the uh, Youth choir, mostly in the uh, junior high school until senior high school age, and then the senior choir, mostly on the collegiate, collegiate level. Yeah, our young artist age uh, goes until uh, 35 years old, no ceiling below. So these are the uh, group competitions. We have five competitions within a two-year cycle, as I mentioned earlier, and one uh, traditional music every year so we have we have a total of six uh, competitions spread within a two-year two-year cycle next slide please so uh, this is a, a performance of the dagupan uh, city children's choir 2017 winner Yes, this, this children's choir uh, garnered prizes, uh, recognized uh, national prizes, uh, and NCCA recognized them uh, recently. Uh, some of the other uh, children's choir went through the Namsha, the rigors of Namsha, like the Las Piñas Boys Choir, the Malay Balay Children's Choir, to mention a few. So another one is, is this is the adult choir, uh, Coro Bicolano from Naga City. Uh, this is one of those online uh, videos that this, they submitted uh, during the, the pandemic. Yeah. 2021 Senior Choir. 
some liturgical music. So the, the competition is not just a, a matter of uh, singing fast and loud, but more we have an adjudic a panel of adjudicators who are uh, who are ex uh, experts in their fields, uh, judging international competitions. Uh, so um, that's why I I I, uh, I selected that uh, that interpretation of uh, of of, of uh, choral music. Uh, that entails depth of performance. Yeah. The next slide shows the the other uh, competitions that we hold. Uh, we have eight competitions uh, consisting of three rounds for each competition. Uh, they submit a video for the first round and then uh, a live performance for the second round 
and the, the uh, for the the one who qualifies for the second round goes to the cultural center of the Philippines uh, for the for the finals. So enumerated here are the uh, are the various competitions we have ranging from guitar, piano, uh, the violin family, the strings, yeah, the voice. Uh, and the uh, the winds and brasses we also have other special competitions uh, like the uh, symphonic band composition contests and uh, chamber music uh, competitions next slide please so the next three slides are are uh, are, are presentations of of this uh, uh, samples of our solo winners the first one of which is ansel ang winner of the 2018 piano competitions rendering Mozart. Since 2018, Hansel Ang has, has garnered a lot of uh, uh, prizes, especially on online competitions during the during pandemic. The, the pandemic. Play, please.
Nothing beats the youthful vigor of a, uh, of a rendition of Mozart by a young musician. Yeah. May we uh, advance this to 1223? 1223? Because this is a long video. Uh, 12, 12, 1223? Wait, let me check. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Eight oh four, sure. Yes, eight oh four. Eight. Okay, eight oh four. Because this comprises of three songs. Yeah, somewhere there.
Yes. <laughs> Liz, Lisbeth Estrada just graduated from the Philippine High School for the Arts and will proceed to study in London on a full scholarship. Uh, she will be featured by the Friends of Cultural Concerns of the Philippines in an intimate musical uh, sorry, sorry, concert in July uh, 9. Check out the Facebook page of uh, FCCP for details. Yeah. Of course, the next slide uh, is uh, Jodeline uh, Pexon. Uh, we include, of course, uh, Filipino works, uh, especially as contest, contest pieces uh, with the rendition of Sakabukiran. If I'm not mistaken, I think uh, Jodeline Pexon is Juilliard bound, uh, Juilliard School of Music, which was uh, supposed to happen uh, years back, a year ago, but was interrupted by the uh, by the pandemic. The next uh, slide is uh, a group of young musicians again from Sambal is going to take us for uh, a ride in a kalesa. We could start at three. 344. Kindly forward 344.
number of these young uh, musicians uh, have, have turned professional as members of a uh, Philippine Philharmonic Orchestra, Manila Symphony Orchestra, ABS-CBN Orchestra. Uh, a number of them pursued uh, graduate studies here and abroad. Yeah. So uh, that is our pride as a uh, running Namsha. Well, the, the next slides, uh, this is uh, what we did during the, the pandemic. We had uh, another uh, a, a documentary, which, which what happened to, to classical musicians during the, uh, uh, during the pandemic. I think this is accessible in, a, uh, in our uh, Facebook, Facebook uh, page. Yeah. Next slide, please. Next slide, yeah. Some of some of the activities that we had, uh, we, we are also into uh, popular music, Philippine musical theater, yeah, workshops, uh, serious workshops in the Rondalia, updating ourselves with the emerging uh, digital age uh, for teachers and uh, students alike. Next slide, please. Yeah. And then we attempted uh, hybrid performances. Yeah, these are live performances. If you could see uh, the one in in Paco Park, in concert at the park, since uh, these are safe venues for for open air performances. Yeah, next slide, please. Uh, of course, now of course we need to publish. Uh, so we uh, we have a, a whole uh, archive of works, as I mentioned earlier, of national uh, of national artists. And uh, right now, uh, we are planning to do publications of emerging emerging composers. The one you heard earlier, Kalesa, was 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 uh, was com was arranged by one of the musicians uh, in that group. Next slide. So Namcha has been a principal instrument in discovering major music talents from all over the country. Its project have in, projects have involved and continue to involve countless musicians, trainers, and administrators, all serving in the difficult but fulfilling process of selecting the best artists from all 17 regions of the nation annually. Uh, one of our designs uh, in our posters. Next slide. Oh, this was this our group picture in uh, um, culminating the uh, the national uh, finals week before the uh, the happy days during the pandemic. Uh, so, next slide. Yeah. So to cap up, uh, this is a short uh, two-minute video that that we made. Um, our pride. Music makes the nation. To summarize everything. has been a respected institution among classical musicians in the Philippines for its vision and objective in discovering and promoting budding artists as well as promoting classical music in the country through competitions and festivals. It has provided a stage for young musicians to be heard by a larger audience, hence has become a source of motivation for many aspiring artists. Also, Namsia has commissioned Filipino composers to provide contest pieces for the different categories that enable the composers to be heard and discovered by classical music enthusiasts in the country. Namsia has been a great stepping stone for young artists who then successfully pursued a career in music both in the Philippines and abroad. I wish Namsia continued success as it faces new challenges during and after this pandemic. I would like to congratulate and thank the officers and all the people behind this institution for their dedication and 
efforts in contributing to help build a strong foundation for the Filipino youth. Dr. Lucas, you're on mute. The one who spoke in the uh, in that video was uh, Aris Cases. He's a professor of, of piano at, at the Vienna uh, Academy of Music, and of course, another of the one of the early winners of Namsha was Rowena Arieta, who clinched one of the uh, prizes in the uh, in the Tchaikovsky competition. Yeah. Uh, can we reduce this? Uh, this this is just a list of. Uh, Kindly press so that the slides at the side could be seen because this can be scrolled. Yeah. So that, that last slide was a uh, was the list of uh, the countless uh, winners that have joined the uh, Namsha uh, through the 49 years. We're turning 50 next year. Um, so end of presentation. I hope you enjoyed these videos. I I tried to talk as little as possible, uh, most featuring uh, our uh, our pride, the, the uh, 49 years of Namsia. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Lucas. Thank you for sharing with us what Namsia is all about, what it does, and sharing with us some of the videos of uh, the very, very talented uh, uh, young people that have been discovered by Namsha. It is uh, a bit disappointing with online presentations. I hope this year we could do this face-to-face. Uh, -face. Yeah, so please do come. I'm inviting everyone uh, for the uh, for the national finals, uh, Attorney Tan. Yeah. Yes, for those of us who don't know. Dr. Renato Lucas is a very renowned musician and an expert cellist. <laughs> uh, before proceeding with uh, the Q&A portion, I've been asked to uh, request uh, Dr. Lucas and Evelyn Singson yeah, okay. uh, to pose for a photo uh, uh, to record this presentation. Okay, please, so, my... One, two, three. Miss Evelyn, please smile. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you very much, Arnold. Evelyn, you yeah. can you yeah, please uh, yes, join me in the, the Q&A portion? So can I throw the first question to Dr. Lucas? Certainly. <laughs> huh? You know, we are so impressed with what we saw. And I wonder if uh, your talents or will be available for invitation because I know of a lot of corporate events looking for, you know, talents to show off during some of their occasions. Is there a way to invite your talents to... Yes, yeah, certainly. Certainly. We have a whole roster of... Uh... Well, better invite them as soon as possible because many of them are leaving for scholarships abroad. Uh, so, uh, but with with this exposure, with the support, uh, especially from the private sector, this is a this is a good, uh, a wonderful uh, encouragement. Uh, yeah, because but, you know, yeah. when corporations invite, they they are looking for packages so mm -hmm. may i suggest uh to make it easy for for you and for them mm -hmm. if you can package uh, some i don't want to call it entertainment but it is uh <laughs> so that it would be easy for corporations to make a decision mm -hmm. uh who they can invite to their uh to their events yes yes certainly yeah this is, I mean, without prejudice to uh, 
to popular music uh, we offer value uh, value performances we you've just uh, witnessed uh, and this is just the tip of the iceberg of uh, of people who have joined uh, who have uh, participated in our in our competitions okay They're very Thank impressive yeah so yeah okay. i think you need to go show them off more often because mm -hmm. uh uh we seldom see or hear about them mm -hmm. uh there must be a way of projecting them so that they get known by by the public mm -hmm. the other thing i wanted to ask you so you have contest after the contest what benefits can the winner expect from namsia uh, well, because of this exposure, uh, they especially uh, the National Com Commission for Culture and the Arts, uh, a lot of them are, are, are invited for presentations, uh, for tours nationally, uh, and also for cultural exchanges uh, abroad. It was just unfortunate that the pandemic uh, interrupted this, uh, these activities. Aside from but that, it is them themselves who have to promote, or is Namche uh, all? No, uh, you uh, the National Commission for Culture and the Arts uh, usually gets referrals from us who, uh, who mm -hmm. to present, uh, who to pre especially for uh, for uh, cultural presentations at the Cultural Center of the Philippines, for tours uh, in in uh, in regions like in the Visayas in Mindanao. Uh, for school concerts, yeah, for educational programs of the Cultural Center of the Philippines, uh, so, and then uh, we get uh, requests for uh, for endorsement, especially for scholarships abroad. Considering that this is a uh, this is a statewide, uh, state-supported uh, institution, so. Uh, as of now, we, we do not have that capability to, dip, could, uh, to give scholarships, but uh, that is one of our uh, goal, uh, so that we could uh, expand uh, our, uh, our role and be uh, not just being a catalyst, but an active role in, 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 in promoting uh, this, exactly. this, uh, this, uh, this young, young musicians. Yeah, yeah, we should have something like the BTS because we have all the talents and mm -hmm. and it's just a matter of packaging them and yes. uh, giving them the breaks. Mm -hmm. If Korea can do it, we can. We can yes. do better. Yeah. In fact, right now we are uh, we are in the process of doing uh, considering the the opening up of the economy of market of an aggressive uh, marketing. Uh, strategies for for these musicians yeah, yeah. Uh, towards the 50 years of namsha next year uh next year yeah it's not i don't think it's uh, enough to just discover all the discovering plants and there are a wealth yeah. of them apparently out there yeah uh, should go but beyond I think from discovering we should promote Nurture. and help them yeah, develop uh, mm -hmm. yes. and develop these are very young people and there's so much uh, promise in them in fact even the other contestants who don't get the opportunity to win is there a way also can they rejoin in the future oh yes they, yeah so except, they can keep if, rejoin. They have, if they have gotten the the first prize yeah uh well for for group for group, uh, for group participants, because the membership of groups are, are liquid, you know, they change membership, even if they have won the first prize, they can still join uh, because they have, usually they have a new set of, of members. Yeah. And then there is a, a junior category and the uh, senior category. So the young, even if the young, the young musician won the junior category, they can join again in, in another, in the, mm -hmm. in the senior category yeah Good. certainly yeah. i saw a comment in the chat earlier from anthony sanchez so inspiring thank you so much for inviting us oh thank you very much for uh for inviting us too <laughs> <laughs>
So uh, this is one of our endeavors. Uh, so that the uh, because in the grassroots in the music community, Namsha is uh, is quite well known. But we want to expand uh, our uh, that we become well known outside the music uh, the music uh, community. Yeah. So. Is government is government uh, doing something to help uh, uh, yeah, develop yes. the, uh, the youth Actually, in this, the, this area? Yeah, the, of course the the grants that the grant that the yearly grant, but you see, as you have seen, the scope of Namsha is so wide uh, that uh, it requires uh, much resources, and uh, I. Fortunately, I think we got uh, uh, some some wonderful legislation to continue to continue this uh, this program. Uh, since uh, Namsha is a, is a private foundation, we get institutional support, of course, from the aside from the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, we get uh, support from the Department of Education and the Com uh, Commission on Higher Education, but mostly on, on network and information dissemination and also from the local government uh, so we get uh, endorsements so that uh, local government could support these participants to join to join NAMSHA especially the big groups because it's quite expensive that's why uh, during the second round we go to the provinces we bring the judges so they don't have to come to, to Manila unless they they qualify for the finals yeah, and even if they don't win, uh, we still give workshops for people who were not able to uh, to uh, to clinch the. Uh, we also take care of uh, of 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 groups and musicians who need further uh, further training. Yeah, so it's not just. I know there's. I noticed there's a group from Zambales that's quite good that you featured. No? Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. You should see the documentary. I think it's accessible in our uh, in our Facebook uh, page. Yeah, uh, the Zambales kids yeah. uh, of Coke Bolipata. And next year we're featuring the Orchestra of Filipino Youth. This is the uh, the one supported by the uh, first Philippine Holdings of the Lopez. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, this is like the youth orchestra of the of the then uh, ABS CBN Philharmonic. I hope they could they could restore this uh, this uh, because there is a diaspora of musicians going abroad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, it could also be good because they have. Uh, but compared to Japan and Korea, they have an oversupply of. We have an oversupply of musicians, but to make them. Uh, uh, stay. Uh, fortunately, a lot of the musicians abroad visit visit the Philippines, and uh, we invite them at Namsha whenever they are uh, around. Uh, yeah. Is I think, uh, uh, Doctor Lucas, the impression is Namsha is only promoting or the, uh, promoting traditional music. Is there room for more modern? Yes. Modern music. Uh, yes, that that is uh, quite uh, an impression I got from uh, from legislators. Yeah, but actually the the traditional music is is uh, just a component. Yeah, uh, of of the competition, so that uh, so that the the uh, this uh, oral traditions can be can be sustained. Yeah, uh, as as I mentioned earlier, did the, the bulk. Uh, the bulk of the competitions entail, entail, uh, for lack of a better term, Western classical, classical music. Yeah, I think in the in the provinces, uh, the choir and the rondalla competitions are quite popular. Yeah, in in uh, in the national capital region, most most of the instrumentalists and singers are are concentrated here. I don't know if I've answered your question, uh, yes. Miss Evelyn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think in, I the, think in the, the digital age, this people. requires uh, in the digital age, this requires some 
yeah. some effort uh, no not just some effort great effort uh, to to traverse uh, this uh, digi the, this digital platform mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the young people have to be attracted also to yes surprisingly to be part of before, our audience. Yeah. surprisingly before the pandemic there are many young people who come to uh, to the cultural center of the philippines and uh, in our uh, provincial sorties uh, surprisingly uh, many young people come uh, not just to participate but as as uh, as audiences yeah so it, it it's a way of community building building communities as well yeah <laughs> Mm -hmm. Is there a connection between the uh, music schools here and uh, yes, certainly, yeah, okay. certainly. Uh, a lot of our uh, adjudicators are, are are music practitioners, performers, uh, educators, uh, music educators, um, teachers. Uh, in, in the conservatories, especially our big conservatories like the University of Santo Tomas, where I also teach, and UP, my alma mater, and mm -hmm. uh, there are St. Scholastica, yeah, uh, St. Paul's colleges, yeah, there are uh, music schools that we are very much in touch with. <laughs> and even in the, in there are also music schools in Davao, in uh, Cagayan de Oro, there is a uh, there are many studios, music studios in Cebu. There are uh, there are many rondallas in the Visayas. There are many symphonic bands around the periphery of National Capital Region, Bulacan, Laguna. So it's a uh, uh, we are proud that we with this uh, disjointed uh, musical activities, Namsha conglomerates all these activities. Into, into into festivals like like this yeah is there something the government can do to help the to help the industry develop and produce talents that we can ex export uh, right I know now, we, we there are a lot of Filipino musicians uh, all over Asia no? yeah but there are yeah. certain level lang eh. We right want now, them uh, to be elevated to more. Uh, there is a law that was just passed. I think it's up for signature, the Creative Industries Act, where all this, uh, all forms of uh, of music, uh, actually, uh, all forms of performing arts, uh, so that this will be, uh, uh, this would, this would contribute to the uh, economy. Of, of the Philippines. It's more of organizing them because, uh, for example, in popular music, a lot of the musicians don't don't sign contracts. Yeah, so there is a danger of uh, of uh, ex exploiting cheap cheap labor, cheap musicians, uh, uh, exporting. Uh, yeah, we have a monopoly, in fact, of musicians here in Southeast Asia performing in. Uh, in, in hotels and and restaurants that that existed since the early 1920s uh, as far as Shanghai musicians jazz musicians are are performing uh, uh, here in in Asia yeah so this this uh, creative industries uh, is a form of uh, structure uh, to organize uh, the, the performing arts um, uh, it's called the Creative Industries Act. Mm -hmm. uh, it's up for signature. It already passed ah, the uh, Act. Palang, or is it already a law? It's already a law subject to uh, to signature. Implementing rules. Uh, yes, uh, it was. It was. Uh, it passed. Uh, I think about a month ago, uh, and it it becomes a law. Yeah, mm -hmm. it just requires the the signature of the president for it to become a law. <laughs> But the president is only 10 days away from leaving and he has not signed it. <laughs> I think maybe, hopefully that is just a formality. Uh, unless uh, usually the the one that the president signs are the one that he's going to veto. Yeah, well, so 
we, we should get uh, the private sector to be more active in supporting. Yes, yes certainly, huh? certainly. I think that's one of the reasons that, that why why I am here, why on behalf of Namsha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And one mm -hmm. of the reasons that I have encountered that I've uh, uh, that I've uh, been connected to the two of you uh, to be part of the Namsha Namsha board. Uh, uh, we are fortunate with the with the referrals of uh, the late Mr. Indriga. Baltasar mm -hmm. Indriga, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> to have introduced you to us. Yeah. No, and, and then as what uh, Evelyn was um, uh, uh, speaking about earlier, you know, it's, it's uh, uh, private corporations or and uh, or businesses can can uh, should consider no, inviting yes. uh, this very very talented uh, people that have been discovered no, by Namsha. Huh? Yeah, by this time it's in the spirit of philanthropy. Yeah, uh, uh, I I remember. Uh, I do not want to use the word begging, but uh, we wanted to 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 present this uh, because of its value, so that uh, corporate uh, private private entities could consider us in their philanthropic endeavor. Mm. Yeah. Not just for uh, besides uh, besides uh, tax purposes, since Namsha is a uh, is uh, certified by the PCNC, so mm. that's one of the uh, one of the perks of supporting uh, uh, supporting Namsi. But I think, uh, Doctor Lucas, you have a very good product. It's just yes. a matter of packaging it, yes, and marketing uh, it mm -hmm. because. Uh, even in philanthropy, there's there has to be something that they get back from mm -hmm. from giving, no? Yes. And uh, it will be much much easier to sell yourself, so to speak, mm -hmm. if they get value mm -hmm. ba back yes. from you. And uh, I think it would be very easy, especially if Attorney Tan becomes your business manager. Uh. <laughs> I think we're getting into that. <laughs> no, but, but I'm really very impressed no, with the uh, with the talents that have been so-called discovered, no? and I, I, you know, I, uh, as uh, Doctor was saying, I think in the whole Southeast Asia, the Filipinos are known as as the performers. Mm -hmm. no? Yeah. Uh, and I, I just even just remembered like this. Uh, this uh, pop pop group journey, they got a Filipino to to be their uh, lead singer. No? Yeah. Apple the app. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, well, Apple the app is a Filipino, but uh, there's this other uh, I forget his name uh, who was uh, who was discovered on YouTube, yeah. and then he was uh, called to to be the lead singer to replace the one who died no, of yeah. all this very. We we are fortunate as a as a culture because through the through the centuries we have been exposed to different uh, to all sorts of cultures. We uh, we have been globalized even before the word globalization have been invented. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, this is really in, just introducing you to the business community. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, uh, we can do more. Yes, certainly. To help. Uh, this is such a noble cause, eh? and I think the Filipino young really have a long way to go in terms of music. Mm -hmm. So if we can only encourage and develop, nurture, and package them properly, we could also be a great provider to the international yes. market of yes. uh, musical talents. Yes. Just have to organize it. Yes. Many thanks for this opportunity to present uh, Namsha uh, to the, the Management Association of the uh, Philippines. Ms. Evelyn okay, and Attorney I guess. Tan. Yeah. But that is yeah, it. You may you want to close the... Well, the uh, I'm going to ask you to do the closing remarks. But <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Renato Lucas. Uh, it, was very, it was a very educational uh, uh, experience for most of us no? 
to find out uh, what kind of talents uh, are lurking out there. That, that uh, you know, it's a wealth of talents. But uh, again, I think it's uh, uh, it just brings up the the thought in my mind that we should not stop at just uh, discovering them, but we should yes. nurture them mm -hmm. and uh, help them uh, develop. And uh, it will also redound to the benefit of the entire country. So uh, thank Music you very much. Music makes the nation. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my original. It's one of those uh, Benjamin Curtis makes them. Yeah, and and uh, Evelyn, maybe one of these days we can uh, have one of the uh, or one or more performers no? from Namsha yeah. uh, in our future events. No? Mm. Yeah. yeah. That would be Christmas, most wonderful. Is, Christmas is coming, so Dr. Lucas, you have to think of ways to get <laughs> yourselves invited to a lot of Christmas events. Yeah, or maybe Christmas Easter. Party. Yeah, because talent has to be appreciated. Mm -hmm. To be appreciated, they have to be seen. Mm -hmm. So show off. And it's such a wide range, yeah. No, Evelyn, such way from mm -hmm. Western classical music to rondalias to to choirs to yeah. And beyond Popular entertainment, music. this is our uh, trust for cultural literacy uh, among mm -hmm. our, uh, uh, for our fellow citizens from from uh, from eight from age eight to eighty eight and above. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. So, Actually, Evelyn, yeah. any thank last? You, thank you both, and thank you to our audience. I hope you were impressed by what we have shown you today, and we hope to see you in future arts and culture presentations of MAP. Thank you. Good night. Yes. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Thank Stay you. Safe. Welcome. Bye-bye.